Howdy. I'm Bob Terry. Thanks for joining us for another fantastic, classic Western film brought to you here free online by westernsontheweb.com. Sit back, relax, kick your boots up, and enjoy this wonderful classic entertainment. And we'll see you after the movie. Take a seat. I'll be with you as soon as I finish looking over this contract. Yeah? You haven't seen a contract since you opened this office. Dave Wyatt. <laughs> How are you, Tex? <laughs> fine, fine. I thought maybe you was a prospective client. I could use one about now. Well, why don't you quit trying to be a lawyer and go to work? Oh, business is going to pick up. There's a range war going on. I've heard all about it. That's why I'm in three corners. Oh. Well, I didn't know Sheriff Woodlock had sent for the Rangers. He didn't, Tex, but there's been so much trouble around here lately that the snake decided to take a hand and find out who's behind it. <laughs> well, the job won't be easy. Any suspects? I got one. Bill Gaynor. I left Panhandle out of his ranch to keep an eye on him. Why do you think Gaynor's mixed up in the range war? He doesn't run any cattle or sheep either. No? No. Well, then how does it happen he drove a herd of Longhorns wearing his registered brand I crossed the line into Kansas last month and sold them. Tex, according to all reports coming into Ranger headquarters, the cattlemen and sheepmen in this territory got along all right together until the last few months. And for no reason at all, they started trying to kill each other off. Well, that's the way most feuds start. Apparently for no reason at all. This is more than a few, Tex. The cattlemen claim they're losing cattle. The sheepmen claim they're losing sheep. Now, if that's true, it was getting away with the stock. Maybe you've got something there, Dave. I know most of the ranchers in this territory, and I'd bank on their honesty. The 
gent that just rode by in the white cottage belt is Gaynor. You recognize him? Yeah. Who are the other two? Dick Vernon and Jed Moore. They're owners of the Circle D Ranch. That's how I fit in the territory. Well, that's Ruth Lane and a couple of her sheep herders. Like the sheriff's gonna get caught between two fires. We better go over to his office. I think maybe he might make some arrests and you'll get a couple of clients. <laughs> oh, this is more important than my law business, Dave. Both the cattlemen and sheepmen are out after old Jim Scout. They've told him if he doesn't make some arrests soon, they'll force him to resign. Seems to me you're mighty interested in what happens to the sheriff. Well, I am. Practically raised me after my father died. Sent him to school. Break his heart if he'd have to turn in his badge. Listen, Sheriff. Either you stop these sheep herders from rustling our cattle, or we'll take the law in our own hands. Nobody's taking the law into their own hands while I'm Sheriff. Why don't you do something? I can't make arrest without proof. We gave you proof, but you didn't do anything about it. We want some action or else. do a lot of talking for a man that's lost no cattle gainer. He's got a right to talk if he wants to. He's a friend of ours. He knows what we're up against. These woolly wranglers are stealing us blind. That's a lie, Mr. Brennan. You're trying to drive us out of business. Sheriff, I seen Gaynor snooping along our west fence just before it was cut and a band of sheep stolen. Nobody's going to accuse me. introduced Dave Wyatt, a Texas Ranger. He was sent in the three corners to try to help you rangers straighten out your difficulties. Dave, this is Ruth Lane. How do you do, Miss Lane? How do you do? Randy Smith. Howdy. Howdy. Nord Collins. Hello. Jed Moore. Hello. Hi. Dick Vernon. Howdy. Howdy. And uh, Bill Gaynor, who we just met. in town. You know, when you left with Vernon and Moore, they show acted burned up. They weren't acting, Pete. They'd have been a gunfight in the sheriff's office. The tech things hadn't shown up with the ranger. Ranger? Right. Who sent for him? How do we know? He's here, and that's enough. <laughs> sure. One ranger can't do no good. Do you know if we can keep the sheep and the cattle in fighting for two months, they'll all be willing to sell out. Then Taylor can take over the valley. We'll be sitting pretty. So far, there's been nothing but a lot of guns playing rustling, but nobody's been killed. Starting today, we're going to change that. Mm. So wait till I get my gun belt fixed. Get 
What are we going to do next? We'll ride out and make sure he doesn't leave the place alive. That ought to bust this range for him wide open. You was listening. You heard me, my friend. I'm a tinker and not a listener. All I do is tinker all day long. <laughs>
You think maybe the same thing's going on around here? I never can tell. It's a lid pipe sense that somebody's doing some rustling. Well, we're going to catch whoever it is. Tex, you better let the sheriff here swear you in as a deputy. We're going to need your help. No, sir, not me. I'm a lawyer, not a gunfighter. Well, ain't the way I heard it, you young whippersnapper. Pin this on. You're hereby deputized. Hey, we've got to get to Twin Falls quick. What are you talking about? We're going to waylay Jed Moore and kill him. Who's going to waylay him? I don't know. I was hanging around Gaynor's ranch like Dave told me to, a part in men's, I mean a men's in parts, when a couple of fellas rode up like he's going to a fire. They went inside, and I sneaked up and heard them talking. Went in there, No, but I uh, almost got caught. A fellow with a big black handlebar mustache. Oh, he was a tough hombre, if you ask me. Well, that description fits Pete Magoo. He'd hire his guns out to anybody. Maybe we better pick him up and make him talk. We haven't got time, Sheriff. Come on, Tex. We're riding to Twin Falls. Oh, I'm parked, Sheriff. Uh, could I have a drink of water? Hey, wait for me. playing solitaire that rode up to the ranch house this afternoon. Well, there's something must be wrong with your eyesight. Sam Taylor is one of the most respected men in this territory. Well, I don't care about that. He rode up there this afternoon. Fella, don't you watch for Jed outside. We'll stick here in case he comes in the side door.
the coup. You guessed it. Suck a match, Daniel. Who, me? Gun. Keep low and come here. Keep low. Stick your neckerchief up, Panhandle, so they'll quit shooting. Stick my neck up and get shot? Not with my head on it. Pretty hard with you men if any of those herders are dead. Good going. All right, put your guns away. Any of your men hurt, Ruth? Randy's wounded in the arm, that's all. Who started the fight? They did. Showed up and started shooting. One of our men killed Jed Moore last night. We were in the saloon, and we don't think the sheep men had anything to do with the murder. Vernon, I'm taking you and your men to jail. You old fool, you can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. Even if these people did kill your partner, you've got no right to take the law into your own hands and start a gunfight. That's right, Vernon. You'll get plenty of time to think this over in jail. You stupid idiot. You realize if you put us in jail, these sheep herders will run all the cattle off the Circle D. You should have thought of that before you started shooting. No point in arguing, Tex. I'm locking them up. Get to your horses.
Sheriff. As soon as you get them all in jail, be sure that Sam Taylor hears about it. All right. But I hope you know what you're doing. What about a cup of coffee? Uh, you haven't got time for coffee. Miss Ruth's holding a meeting in the main house. You better go on in there. Fine. What about a cup of coffee? I just told you you didn't have time for coffee. You didn't tell me nothing. I told you Miss Ruth was holding a meeting in the main house. Now get on in there. All right. I'd like to have a cup of coffee. Take mine. Anybody can get around the house that fast deserves coffee. I haven't been around the house. Uh, Ed, they have a meeting over at the main house. They want us over there.
Jailing those Circle D ranchers might be a trick. Magoon, ride over and keep an eye on those sheep herders. Gainer, go down the canyons and circle D line fence. The horses are all set. We'll wait so you know what to do if we give you the signal. took the bait all right. Now we'll start the boys cleaning the cattle off the Circle D. Then ride in and pick off those men in jail just like rats in a trap and the sheep men will get blamed for it. That ought to keep this range you all blazing. That's right. about this, Tex. Our horses are as fast as that Umbris, and still we can't catch him. That it may be a trick to get us away from the Circle D. You go back. I'll see if I can cut him off. miles from the Circle D right now. 
Europe is all played out. That old nag could fall over dead if you rode him back there now. Well, that's true. My horse is tired, but he ain't no nag. And it's also true that your friends are rustling at the Circle D right now. Not my friends. The sheep herders. You won't blame this one on the herders. They're all under guard at the Box Canyon Ranch. Looks like you and your friends outsmarted yourselves this time. I think I'll tie you up. Let you think over your sins. Why cutting grooves in those lead bullets? Well, I used to make my living target shooting. Uh, if you cut grooves in, they shoot crooked. Well, why do you want to shoot crooked? Well, I don't. I know how to control them. I could even shoot curves with them. Get over here where I can see you. Uh, now put that gun on the table. Who's here besides you? Nobody. I think you're lying. Besides, I don't trust you. You know you dropped solder on my pistol yesterday. Oh, that was purely accidental. Purely accidental. Well, if this one goes off now, it ain't going to be purely accidental. I don't doubt that, but uh, I've already told you there ain't nobody here but me now. Why don't you go on away and leave me alone? Uh, well, uh, what do you want? Nothing. Why? What's your motion for me to come here for? Oh, uh, that. I was just exercising my trigger finger for target practice. Target practice? Yeah. I'm the best shot in three territories. Made a lot of money shooting pistols. Being that you bet money on shooting your pistol? You bet. I will. Shoot rings around you. Well, I got a 10 spot says you can't. Make it 20. All right. We should have said 50. Oh, make it 50. You heard me. Good. Oh, boy. Whether I'll put this tin cup on the door. Make this a fancy shooting match. We'll put these tin cups on her head and right. shoot them all. Yeah, you can have the first three shots. Besides, you can use some of my special target shooting bullets. Thanks. They wear straighter when you shoot them. Now remember, it's a foul if you hit below the eyebrow. bullets are as good as you say they are. Because if I plug you, then how am I going to collect my 50? I stand still. with my own. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, that'd be cheap. Cheap? Yeah, I can see you're a better shot than I am, so to make things even, you ought to stand six paces further away from me than I do you. Yeah. Scared, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shame on you. You ain't six paces further from me than I am you. Cheap, huh? Sorry. 
Well, back up six pages. Get out now. Get out. Get out that window now and beat it. Go on. Come on, a little faster there. Get out of there. Get on your horse and beat it. And don't come back. Where'd their mothers go? They're riding to the jail. Hey, they're heading for trouble. You won't talk. Be terrible if I'd forget where I left you. You wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I'm awful forgetful. Say, I just figured out how you outrode me. The first horse you rode had white feet. This one's all the same color. You had a string of relay mounts. And mister, if you can Pony Express ride out here, I can go back to three corners the same way. Then I'll go to the jail and let the Circle D ranchers out, and they'll catch your rustling friends red-handed. You're not going to ride relay all the way to jail. You guessed it. Hey, wait a minute. Being jailed for rustling's one thing, but I ain't hankering to be hung for no murder. And unless you can stop it, those men in jail are going to be killed, and the blame's going to be put on the sheep herders. I'll be back for you, Flash. I'll be back for you, too. I see you recognize that horse. I think I do, too. It belongs to the rustler that was cutting fence at the Circle D. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Who's working with you? Will it go easy with me, Ranger, if I tell you what's going on? Depends on the judge. Well, I'll have to take that chance, then.
expecting Taylor, Tex. I just learned from Magoo here that he plans to take over every ranch in the territory. We've got to get the three corners quick, Dave. Taylor's going to wipe out all the cattlemen we jailed. I haven't time to explain now, Ruth, but Taylor's back of all the rustling in this territory. I'm devertising all you men to go with me. What is this, another trick? We really need your help, Miss Lane. Taylor and his men are planning to murder all the Circle D men locked in jail. All right, we'll go with you. See if you can guard this Magoo bird, Ten Smith. Get out. Found the cattle and keeping you. You rounded them up, Tex. 
Well, you better because you have some more prisoners to bring in. Long time gone, big long time gone. All my own, you're all my own. How I miss you so far away. Thinking of. joining us for this classic western film this wonderful movie we appreciate you being here we appreciate you watching our films and we hope you'll come on by westernsontheweb.com over 2,000 western films to watch free and they're brought to you by westernsontheweb.com I'm Bob Terry have a great fantastic day and we hope to see you again on down the trail <laughs>